So most people that have been watching this channel are familiar with my accomplishments as a scientist and the fact that I am a Christian. And a number of people have queried about how those two are compatible. And what I would like to say is that my religion is intensely correlated with the fundamentals of quantum mechanics. I see them as being hand in glove. And here's why. When it comes to quantum mechanics, you have something called the uncertainty principle. You also have the wave particle duality. And I see those as being very intimately related to the subject of free will versus predestination. Free will is kind of like uh, the particle wave duality. Every test that you could come up with to evaluate whether you can make a decision to the left or to the right or up or down or whatever, you're going to validate that you have free will. But that uncertainty is what gives rise to this macroscopic predictability. For example, when you're talking about the quantum mechanical behavior of particles, electrons and, and nuclei and atoms and so forth, it's those properties that give rise to the macroscopic observables that looks deterministic. And so the determinism that we realize in reality is actually caused by this fundamental truth that you cannot know the position and momentum of a particle to arbitrary precision. There's always a, a minimum amount of uncertainty that has to be present that's physically part of the universe. The reality that we know is physically part of that. And so to me, that's the same kind of a thing, this particle wave duality. If you look for a particle, you'll see a particle. If you look for a wave, you'll see a wave. And that this fundamental uncertainty gives rise to determinism. This determinism being that there is some predicted path that the universe is going to continue to evolve on and that only when you accept the inherent uncertainty that goes with it would you actually be able to see the big picture. Now, I don't claim to see the big picture. I don't see the big picture, but I do believe that there is one. And just because I can't see it doesn't mean that it's not there. And so that's where it comes down to a religious perspective for me in terms of how I see modern physics being entirely compatible and aligned with my religious worldview. So I hope that answers all those questions. There were a lot of them there. And uh, I, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a good day.